Good day everyone, I am Rose Melita Ade Catalonia and today I am going to discuss about portfolio. Portfolio falls under non-paper and pencil test. A portfolio is a purposeful collection of students' work or documented performance. Example of this is the video of a dance that tells the story of students' achievement or growth. The, per, uh, the, word, the word purposeful implies that a portfolio is not a collection of um, not a collection of all students' work. So, um, the students' work that is collected depends on the type and the purpose of a portfolio you want to have. It can be a collection of products um, or recorded performances or even a, uh, photos of performances. So, let us move on to the types of portfolio according to purpose portfolio can be classified either as first is a uh, working portfolio the second is the display portfolios and the third one is the uh, assessment portfolio so let us tackle first is the first um, type of portfolio which is the working portfolio a working portfolio is so named because it is a project in the works containing work in project as well as the uh, finished samples of work. A, a growth portfolio de uh, demonstrates an individual's um, development and growth over time. So, development can be focused on academic or thinking skills. Uh, content knowledge, self-knowledge, or any area that is important for your purposes. For this reason, it is also called development per, uh, portfolio. So, um, working portfolio is also called as a development portfolio. So, growth or development portfolio or working portfolio can serve as a holding tank for work that may be selected later, more, uh, later for a more permanent assessment or display portfolio. So, let us move on to the second type of portfolio which is the display portfolio. Um, the display portfolio is a it is the display of students best work students exhibit their work and interpret its meaning showcase portfolio demonstrate the highest level achievements attained by the uh, students so um, for example of this is in our senior high years we have there in an exhibit of our portfolios in our immersion so let us move on to the third and last type of portfolio which is the assessment portfolio um, the main function of an assessment portfolio is to document what a student has learned um, based on standards and competencies expected of curriculum then will determine what students select of uh, for their portfolios um, their reflective comments will focus on the extent to which they believe the portfolio entries demonstrate their mastery of the standards and the competencies. So I have here an example of um, portfolios. First is the project portfolio. Focus on the work from an individual project. Um, purpose of uh, purpose is to document the steps taken which uh, with the reflection of uh, on each step and entire project we can see this in our junior high school so let us um, move on to the second example which is the growth portfolio shows progress toward competence on one or more learning targets um, document increased level of achievements students write self-reflection of a summarized growth so um i hope you've learned something uh you've learned so far to our discussion for the day about so much um portfolio so here are my references 
thank you so much for listening for my discussion for today and god bless us all stay safe